Hi, I'm Antin Piercer, and today we will use a Raspberry Pi and a MIDI controller to access almost all the parameters of my gears. And this without me not diving. So why I'm doing this? I have this USB MIDI controller, the launch control by Innovation, that is originally designed to, to be paired with a launch pad. I guess this is this is the Mark one. A few years ago, Innovation updates his component software to edit and customize the MIDI CC parameters that you can send with the, with the launch control. So you can load a template and access, and access it by the user button through the 1 to 8 templates you can load. I immediately tried with the Koala Sampler app with Android and it works fine. And suddenly I want to try it with the circuit tracks, but no, it doesn't work. Because the USB-C of the circuit tracks does not power a MIDI controller, so you need a USB host to, to do it. And what the f Is this the price of, of a USB host on the internet? Over 100 euros? What the hell? I remember I have a Raspberry Pi in my house taking dust and I recently found a project where they use a Raspberry Pi as a, a MIDI host only via the USB and I say why not? Let's try it. So last night I follow all the instructions and on the terminal the controllers show up of the, the launch control so it works. Nice! I leave a link uh, here on the, of the project so you can do it by, by yourself. It requires the minimum skills of Linux on the shell programming, but it's very, very easy. I just configure it with my circuit tracks. So I have all connected via USB. You can see the launch control boot up. Let's see if the circuit tracks works too. Nice. So what I did to configure the launch control is open the MIDI implementation of the circuit tracks, the PDF that the gave you, Innovation gives you, with all CC parameters and values and stuff, and the Innovation components on the other side to configure the CC values on, on the encoders, on the buttons and so on. I have the second template, I have the synth one, on the top row and the scene 2 on the second row. I have this pot here, that is the filter. As you can see, I didn't touch the pots on the secret tracks, it, the, it is the filter controlled by the MIDI controller, like you could do on Ableton or on other DOS. Filter, resonance, then I have distortion. This is the envelope feeding into the filter. And then I have the ADSR, the envelope one. So this is the attack. The decay. The sustain and the release. And the same values are for scene 2. The resonance is very aggressive. Here the distortion it's very very well, this patch. So why this is cool for the circuit tracks? In this example here we have this preset, this patch, the synth one. And if I load as it is, I have control on this mm, knob here. It's like a soft filter. This, I don't know what, that, what does it does. So all of these parameters will not make nothing. 
because this is not a patch I have programmed, but I buy this on, on the internet from someone who do, does this sort of Boards of Canada sounds. You can have control of very, very few few things because this stress uh, a lot the synth engine of the circuit tracks. But I have control of nothing in this case except for this like cutoff filter. So what you can do with a controller? Have a proper filter. You can really destroy a sound. Destroy or design. For example, this patch is a very high release, so you can put it down. And it can sound like a piano. You can do it if you load the standard. It doesn't sound good at all. But if you modify some parameters here. You can access some parameters you can't access normally on the circuit tracks. Or you have to edit by yourself on the macro on the components app. In this case, whatever patch or preset you're loading, you always have your filter here, your resonance and so on. You can map a lot of a uh, lot of parameters, so you have to choose what parameters, what MIDI CC values put on the knobs and you're ready to go. You can have eight templates to do it. The first is for Koala sampler. This is for the synth one, synth two, but you can do a third template where you modify all the parameters of the drums without have to without to access it directly on the menu of the circuit tracks. You can do whatever you want. So what about improvements? The first problem I got with this uh, configuration is the power supply for for the Raspberry Pi because I use a standard power supply of 5 volt and 2 ampere but they suggest to use a 3 ampere to fully use the Raspberry Pi on its power and I have some issues with the circuit tracks and the controller because uh, at first because I didn't use the uh, proper power supply but, and a proper cable too and if I connect uh, for example the Innovation Ultra Nova you can power it it by it by USB it will not boot because we don't have enough power to all the devices I connected so how uh, you can solve this for sure with, with a proper power unit but you can use it a uh, USB hub powered externally so you can power all the devices and you can reserve the the power supply only for the Raspberry Pi. I could solve the problem that I had in the last video of the power connectors for all my devices because I have four devices that I can power with a USB and with a USB hub I, will, I can solve the problem. Also with a USB hub I can control more than one device so for example in this template I control the circuit tracks but I can control with another with another template I can control for example the SP so I can access uh, with more parameters of the SP without menu diving maybe I I should try it maybe I can sync all the devices with the MIDI clock from for example the SP404 the circuit tracks and I can send it in the Ultra Nova, for example, without using a proper MIDI MIDI five pin uh, cable, so I can power and connect to the MIDI of the of my gear. I can try it. Hey, it's me 
from the future. I try to connect everything and it works. There are four devices here connected. So we have the Novation to Nova powered by the, the Pi, the Circuit Tracks also powered by the Pi, and the SP404 I prefer to power with this uh, uh, AC adapter. But I have this USB cable connected also. And I program the launch control on the template 4 because it's 404, you know? Okay. And I try with the DJ mode. And I can control the knobs here, as you can see, the channel 1 and channel 2. So if I play the song, it works. And with the second, it works too. The thing is it doesn't work with the SP404 is the play and Q button. For some reason, if the launch control doesn't sense the notes, the MIDI CC value here. I try with momentary and toggle, but it doesn't work. But if you play from here, you can see the button flashes. I also tried with this button too, but I don't know why it doesn't work. I have to investigate. The Ultranova works too. There is no USB ground uh, noises at all, so nice. I can power two devices and use less power AC adapter. And uh, let's go to the video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.